baseball player in general is so impressive for a guy who, I mean, what, he's only played 40, 50 career games, not even. So, I mean, keep an eye out for him. We got, we got something there for sure. And he's been absolutely outstanding in, I guess, the first month and a half that he's been in the big leagues. Yeah, it's safe to say, Blue Jays fans, that we are excited for the second half of the season. And um, undoubtedly so, we're going to be looking forward to our young guys. And now we can move on into the um, the mailback questions, where we have um, a couple. So the first one says, um, the Blue Jays, uh, for their 2016 playoff roster, they only have 38% of them still in the MLB. What do you make out of that? It's just that... Eventually, baseball is a sport where you got to keep retooling and keep as much as possible. You got to stay young. You got to have a good farm system, because yeah, 2016. It's not all that long ago. It was just three years ago, and more than half of the big leagues, more than half of that core is just gone. I mean, other than Edwin Encarnacion and Josh Donaldson, who else is really an impact player? I mean, Bautista's been out of the league. Troy Tulowitzki is barely even a guy anymore. So I guess that that should tell you that even when you're good in baseball, it might not always be because of necessarily I mean when even when you're good you always have to keep in mind that you have to have guys that are ready to step in you got to have a good farm system and a good management to do that and unfortunately despite the fact that the Blue Jays were so good in 2015 and 2016 they just did not have MLB ready prospects to step in for the next wave and I, I as I go back to this and that's not, it's not something that Jays fans want to hear but with the Yankees after that 2015 playoff team sort of went down in 2016 they had guys who were ready to step in right away and Look and behold, they're championship team already. So that's that, that's to tell you about something about baseball. It's not a sport where you can last, you can like rely on guys to last past their thirties. You got to have guys ready to step in because you fall off the cliff pretty fast in this game. Yeah, and uh, we just got to take it in as like we got to just live in the moment sometimes, or just take it how it is. And do we enjoy those playoff runs? It's just time to move on now. Uh, we had those great Jose Batista moments in 2015, 2016, and the most underrated moment for me was a Kansas City home run. I believe it was for you too, right? The Kansas City. I home. agree. Yeah, I agree 100. percent So there's some moments that we can take out of it. The Josh Dawson MVP year was certainly amazing to see. Certainly. Refre- I'd argue, hang on, sorry, not to cut you off there, but now that you got me thinking. I've been thinking about this for a while. If the Blue Jays win that game and they end up winning the series and the championship, can you argue that that home run was more important than the Texas one? If they won that game, was it game six? If they win game six... They have all the momentum for game seven. And they win the whole World Series. They win the whole World Series. Can you argue that that home run was more important than the Bautista one they hit against Texas? The bat flip one that everyone remembers? Oh, certainly, because that was game five. So they're yeah, just it was coming... an elimination game. So, they're so just... was that one. So, so was game six. Yeah, but they're start... they're going into a new series. Well, this one, if they... If they um. If they win this, and if they win Game Seven, they're going to go into the World Series. So, it's and also you, have to, you also have to remember that the Bautista home run, the bat flip one, the game was tied. The Kansas City one, they were down by two runs. So even if he doesn't hit the home run in the Texas, they still have a chance. But the Kansas City one, you don't hit that home run, you, you got three outs against Wade Davis, who had been having an unbelievable, ridiculous year. So I mean, yeah, I think you could definitely argue that. The, the, the Kansas City home run was even bigger than the memorable one against Texas. Good okay. point. Good to reminisce back in the past. But could you argue that the, if Ryan Goins didn't drop the ball, that more important than the Jose Batista Game 5 ALDS? If he didn't, um... I mean, don't forget, I mean, as much as we like to crap on Ryan Goins, that, that play, it's only one base runner. The Jays are up by three runs at that time. I think David Price... As much as we can throw the blame on Ryan Goins, he did choke a little bit, gave up five runs in that inning, and I mean, if you're a true ace and all that, you can't let one little play like that dictate the whole game and the whole start, so I mean, yeah, he deserves some blame, but at the same time, I think David Price should have rebounded a little better than he did. Yeah, so going on to our second question, it says Marcus Stroman... um, he said, did you guys see that Marcus Stroman um, deleted all Blue Jays references from his Twitter social media account? I did not notice that, but it's something that has been pretty common in sports when a guy is on the trade wire to get traded. I think 
to, what to make of this is that he expects to get traded. I mean, why else would you do something like that? Maybe he just wanted a new change to his Twitter profile, but if he's de- specifically deleting Blue Jays posts, it seems that his consensus is that he won't be a Blue Jay any longer. So, I mean, even that, that's not something that we are really surprised with. That's, we've been talking about this for over a year now. So, I mean, I guess him deleting all his Blue Jays posts sort of makes it somewhat official. Yeah, it's kind of sad to see uh, a great pitcher as Marcus Stroman um, just 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 going to be traded soon. It's just sad to see how Mark Shapiro haven't approached him. Reports say that they haven't approached him for an extension talk. So I, in my opinion, I believe the Jays should extend a pitcher like him because it's going to be hard for Jays. It's going to be hard for the Jays to um, bring in a caliber pitcher of Marcus Stroman or even better. To come play in Toronto, do you agree with me? Hundred percent, hundred percent agree with that. And you mentioned a pitcher that's not not so much an established big league pitcher, but an all star level big league pitcher who wants to be here. I think that maybe it's an internal problem, but I'm a little disappointed that the Blue Jays front office has not has not at least tried to lock Marcus Stroman up because out of all the guys that you have a certainty within your rotation, there's not very many. There's not a lot of high pitching prospects for this team. I mean. A Pearson, TJ Zoic, they're all fine, but there is no Vladdy's. There are no guys that could pretty much be surefire guys. And Marcus Stroman is a major league ready pitcher who's an all star. So when you put it that way, it's certainly disappointing that he's not going to be here long term, it doesn't look like. But I think you also have to remember that there are two sides, and perhaps that Mark Shapiro and Ross Hopkins are sort of fed up with Stroman, or maybe they think that they can get something better on the trade market. Who knows? And I'm not going to question they're doing this, but. I'll be very upset if they don't trade him. If like, I mean, I, I want them to extend him, but if they don't, I think at the very least they should trade him. They shouldn't just go into the second half of the season and into the off season with this huge question mark looming. Yeah, no doubt about. It. And you're saying um, if the Jays believe they can get something back in return for Marcus Stroman, on Twitter account by the name of Quinn Sweetser, he said if the Jays keep and extend Stroman, will they pay him a hundred million dollar extension? and then Stroman loses all his asset value, or if the Jays trade Stroman, the Jays acquire cheap assets, and then the Jays have $100 million to spend on a player of Stroman's caliber. So you can either have Stroman or an equivalent plus some young assets, but then again, it comes to my point of, do pitchers really want to come to Toronto when they know they're not going to win, but maybe money plays a factor there, so I'm not going to question that. Yeah, but also, but also, I mean, you mentioned about him trading him, I mean, you're trading him for potential guys. You're, the idea of guys that could end up being Marcus Stroman. While well, you do have Marcus Stroman, who's established and a certainty at this point. So, I mean, you can also make that argument as well about trading him. I mean, you want to keep the money that you're paying for him and the assets. But at the same time, you might also take comfort in the fact that Marcus Stroman is an asset right now who is an established contributor. Yeah, no doubt about it. And hopefully we get some... Um, key guys in the Mark Stroman deal. I know um, the Jays, r- rumors had it that the Jays are looking to package Ken Giles and Marcus Stroman. That's the latest report. So let's see if the Jays could drive up their value. But personally, I would want to trade Marcus Stroman and Ken Giles in two separate deals, but that's just me. I think they have, each have enough value on their own where you would need the package. I think you should expect a substantial return for both. I mean, at this point. Yeah, and my prediction right now for Marcus Stroman is that he does get traded to Atlanta, so hold me on that. Yeah, man, Alex Anthopoulos there, the connection. Maybe him knowing Strowman and seeing him grow might force his hand into giving up a little more than he should. And Alex Anthopoulos, we see him, we've also seen him firsthand be really aggressive at times too, so that wouldn't be a terrible idea for either team. And it depends what the Blue Jays could get. I mean, we have to really look down on the potential prospects. And maybe the Yankees is a possibility to get Clint Frazier. But at this point in time, I think... The whole point is you want to get Marcus Stroman pitching well and healthy for the next few weeks or so, and then sort of weigh your offers around then. Yeah, for sure. And there's certainly going to be other guys on the trade block um, rather than Marcus Stroman and Ken Giles with uh, possibly Freddie Galvis, Eric Sorgar, Justin Smoke, Daniel Hudson, and more. And we'll preview all of those and more in our July 25th rendition of Blue Jays. Banter, Jays and Weekly, Episode 9, I believe that will be. Ending it off with one last question from Jack.Glow. He says, is next year going to be our year? I mean, is that, is that a question? Yeah, that's a question. 
Oh, is next year going to be our year? Yeah. Uh, no, probably not. I mean, with Marcus Stroman gone and no one really ready to step in, I don't think. I mean, our year in terms of what? Winning a World Series? Because I think we're a little disappointed. Sorry? Contention. Contention? I mean, it's always possible, but it's hard to imagine a team that right now is probably on pace to lose over 100 games, transition into a contender based on one summer. I think next year will sort of be the more of the makings of a contender, but not quite a contender. That's just what I believe. You could expect us to do maybe a... It should be like the ending to our rebuild next year, and then aiming for that 2021 season to be back in contention. Next year, you should expect us... To be selling around this time. Expect, you should definitely expect to see some sort of progress towards that. Yeah, so for sure. There shouldn't be a whole, like, a losing. Like, they should not lose 100 games next year. Or I, should, I, I would expect right. 75 to 80 wins, maybe, pushing that. Something around that, yeah. Yeah, and that, that's about do it for our, this week's episode in Jays and Weekly. Brought to you by the Jays Banter Crew and Rob and Mo. We appreciate you guys for listening. And, yeah, that's all about, that's all about it for now.